Uh-uh. Hey everyone, Merry Christmas Eve. I am so excited for the holidays and I was really thinking about doing a Christmas themed video for this week, kind of like last week's. But I realized since this video is going up on Christmas Eve that if you haven't planned already, then you're kind of SOL. So there's really no hope for you. You shouldn't have procrastinated this long, but luckily I can help you plan for New Year's Eve. I have been on Pinterest a lot lately and I was trying to figure out what Dane and I were going to do for New Year's Eve. We decided that we're going to go to a football game, actually the UT football game, the bowl game against Utah. So that's going to be really fun. But in the interim, everyone celebrates on New Year's Eve. And what do you celebrate with? Alcohol. I found three recipes that use champagne because that's just a staple alcoholic beverage for New Year's. So, I found three different recipes that I thought would be really fun to try them out, test them. They're all very different. One is a champagne jello shot, the other one is a champagne margarita, and then the last one is gonna be a champagne punch. And I'm gonna try them all out. I'll put the links down to the drinks below. So if you want to actually use them for yourself for this New Year's, you're more than welcome to. I will rate them on a scale from best to worst. My bet is I'm going to like the margarita one the best, but we'll see. Who knows? And so let's jump right in. I have all of the recipes actually on my phone, so I'm going to be using this in order to make them. So the first one I'm going to make is the jello shots, and that's because they need some time to actually chill in the fridge because of the gelatin and all of this stuff. So we're going to make it first, and we're going to hope that it gets frozen or cold or solidified. How is it solidified? By the time I'm done making the other drinks. If not, we'll take a little intermission and we'll come back and test it. I will need one cup of sparkling cider. I have all of my alcohol here that I'm going to be using. Where is my cider? Here's my cider. So I need one cup of sparkling cider. I feel like I should just tip taste all of these before I actually pour them in just to see if they're good. I mean, this one's non-alcoholic, but tastes like apple juice. And then I need two packets of gelatin. Oh no, that wasn't good. Oops. Well, hopefully that doesn't affect anything too much. We will carry on. So I got all the gelatin. Now I need three fourths cup of sweet sparkling wine. I didn't think this went through. I should have done all the liquid first. Let me grab another measuring cup. All right, so the sweet sparkling wine is supposed to be like spumante. Spumant, spumant. This, I actually got this food. J. Roger sparkling wine. I've never had this before. Smells like champagne. I actually think it tastes better than champagne. I'm down. I like it. All right, so I need three fourths cup of this. You gotta get down, you gotta see where the meniscus is. Remember in chemistry where they taught us that? Here, so we got the three fourths cup of the spumante. Should I pour that? Oh no, oh no. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Should have thought that one through a little bit better. Hmm. Well, maybe pour it in slower? Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on. Don't do it slow. Maybe you just need a bigger bowl? Yeah, let's get a bigger bowl. And then like, maybe we can just like spoon it in. Okay, all right. I'm doing a wonderful job so far. So there's that. And then we need a quarter cup of vodka. And so I have Tito's vodka because it's a Texas vodka. I'm not gonna try this one because I do not wanna be intoxicated by the end of this video. So 
I've got other things to do today. That could be really fun though. Not the cup. So now I should probably mix this together. Get it all nice and mixed. I'm actually not even reading the directions. It probably would have said, put gelatin in a medium heat proof bowl. Oh, I didn't read any of this. I should probably start over because I need to bring it to a boil, but I don't have any more gelatin. So I think we're just gonna go with it. This is why you read instructions first. It's fine though. I think this will be okay. I think we'll be good. I'm no scientist, but I think, I think it'll be fine. I hope it will be fine. I was actually kind of looking forward to these, and now I'm like a little worried that they're not going to be very good. Yeah, this stuff is like already solidified, and I think it's going to be okay. What if I put it in the microwave? I don't really know. There's like a whole solid chunk of gelatin. I've never made jello shots before, if you haven't noticed. And then we'll put two blueberries in each little muffin thing. You know, the nice thing about possibly messing this up is the fact that I still have the alcohol so I can still have my own little party. Blueberries in. It looks kind of like applesauce. I don't know if I would recommend making this just yet. Oh no. Okay, so I get to dust it at the end. I'm thinking I have to dust it before it goes into here. And I would have been really sad because the dusting of the sugar is hopefully going to save <laughs> this alcoholic drink. My hair is slowly get to the pen. We're good. This is the junky part of the gelatin. I don't know if you can see that at all. I'm not gonna put that in. That's probably what happens when you don't follow the rules, but you know, I like living life on the edge. So we put this in the fridge and then we'll go on to making our other two recipes and we'll see if these turn out very good. So on to our next recipe, which is the margarita champagne. Champagne margarita, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm going to read the instructions first this time. I need to combine the sugar on the wet rim, so new line wedge for that. I think a shot glass is two ounces, right? Uh, oh, well, I think everything is exploding for me today. I don't understand. The cap doesn't even open, but there was sugar everywhere. Now I need a cup for this. I need to wet the rim of it with a lime slice. I feel like I'm so ill prepared. I thought I had everything set up, but I'm not. I still need lots of utensils. Put in there, mine. I was using the back of the knife. It helps when you use the right side of the knife. Thank you. Then what do I need to do? Instructions. Fill a cocktail shaker with ice. I don't have a cocktail shaker. I do. I do. So I need to fill it with ice. Ice. Add the roses sweetened lime juice. I don't have roses. I have bar smith lime juice. Got it from H-E-B. I think it works. So how much of that? I don't know about y'all, but I really hate whenever you're looking at recipes and the instructions don't say how much of the ingredient you need. So you have to keep scrolling back and forth. I think that's probably the reason why I don't ever look at the instructions because I'd rather just look at the amount that's supposed to go in it. But that probably also means a lot of my food and drinks and things didn't follow the instructions and that's why sometimes I have failures. But that's beside the point. I need four tablespoons. This is the first time I'm using a shaker. I'm kind of excited about it. All right, and then two ounces of white tequila. How much is two ounces? How many tablespoons are two? Four tablespoons. So I could just do two tablespoons, which I don't feel like is enough tequila, right? Let's do three. That was a good noise. So I'm gonna do three tablespoons because I'm having it, but I like me some tequila. I'm not gonna shorten my drink because of that. And then I need two ounces of triple sec. This is actually not triple sec, but it's, it's another kind of, it's 
orange liqueur, which is basically the same thing. And then I need one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lime. Where's my juice squeezer? Where's my juice squeezer? You can never have enough lime in life, which is what I've decided. And then six ounces of brute. So if four is two, this is three. Yes. It calls for brute champagne or sparkling wine. I just, I got California champagne, which technically is a brute because champagne can only be made in France. Did I do it wrong? I stopped looking at the instructions. No, I did it. And then gently shake two or three times. Oh no, oh no, it's coming up the top. Strain into the prepared glass and garnish each with a live wedge. I wonder what it's gonna be like, honestly. It definitely doesn't look like the picture. I wonder if it's just because I didn't use the right triple sec. Cheers. It just tastes like a normal margarita. I'm not mad about it, but I thought I'd have like a little more hint of champagne in it. I mean, it's fun. It's a way to say that you got champagne in your drink while you're partying for New Year's, but I wouldn't say it's anything different than a normal margarita. On to the next drink. Now that everything's clean, let's move on to our last drink, which is a sparkling champagne punch. So really this one serves 24 people. I'm serving myself, so I think I'm just gonna kind of wing it on the ingredients to make it look as close as to the color. So let's go for it. Maybe I should use my fine shaker again. I can't wait to think. Why do people open this again? Dang! Can you come help me? I'll give you a sip of my margarita. I can't get it open. I used it already. Let's look at you. Pepper, you need to go think. She goes, but I want to be out here. This is where the party's at. So now we are looking for, I just have to place all the in ingredients into a punch bowl, but we're gonna place it into my nice little mixer. We're just gonna have some fun with this. I have to put in some champagne. So here's my champagne, it's cooked. It's like $6 at the grocery store. And then 750 milliliters of Ruby Port. They no longer sell port at HEB, but I got the closest thing to it, which is the Messina Hoff Ports of Call. I've never actually had port before. That's not bad. It still tastes like red wine, but it has a nice little sweetness to it. Ooh, pretty good. All right, so we're just gonna put in just like a little bit of it. I think that sounds about good. Two cups of fresh grapefruit juice. And here's my grapefruit juice. That seems like a good amount. And then some simple syrup, which Dan and I made this a few weeks ago um, for some margaritas that we made. You know what simple syrup is? It's literally just sugar and water mixed together. You kind of heat it up and that's it. I think I had too much fun. I don't think this is gonna look like the picture either. Hey, it's not off. I'm a little scared to try it because it looks like medicine to me. It smells grapefruity. That's actually very refreshing. I was worried that this was gonna be a very sweet punch, but it's very fruity. I wonder if it's because the grapefruit juice actually cuts the sweetness because it's so bitter. Wow. I can drink this all day long and be happy. This is actually really good. Which one do I like better? I think the margarita has more appeal to it, especially if you had like a fun gold glitter that you used and made it a little bit more festive. This one really only has champagne going for it, although it looks merry. So you like merry and bright, like Christmas night. That's the rhyme. You probably could use this for Christmas, although I'm pretty sure you're watching this at home on Christmas Eve after all of the stores have closed. So maybe if you still have celebrations on the day after Christmas, this one 
also very nice, but I just don't feel like it has the champagne flavor that I'm looking for. So what if I just add a little bit more champagne? It still smells like tequila. I don't think adding champagne to that made any better. Nope. I think it was better the way it was before and I just ruined a good drink. I'm really sad about that. All right, you wanna check and see how our jello shots are doing? I don't have high hopes for them since didn't follow the instructions, but I didn't follow the instructions for this guy and he turned out fabulous. Ooh, I'm a little surprised by these. Oh, they are hardening, but they aren't hard yet. So I'm gonna give them a little bit more time. I'm actually kind of proud of these. I thought I completely ruined them, but they're not that horrible yet, but we'll see. And then we'll come back and look at them again. Welcome back. It's been about two hours since I put these jello shots in the fridge. I think they have solidified now. I can't really find a, nope, they're kind of still wet, but they're better than they were. So I figured I was gonna go ahead and try them, see what I thought of them. Clearly I didn't follow the instructions. So I think this is gonna be an epic fail here, but I made them anyway, so I gotta try them. I think they're still a little liquidy. It's okay. To be fair, I do think if I would have done this right, they would have come out really cute. Like a little bit of sugar, a little bit of blue from the blueberries. So I am not a big jello fan. So I do not have high hopes for this. I do not think this is going to be good. The consistency of jello is just something that I don't like. But I'm gonna try it for y'all. Uh-uh. Well, I just gagged on that. Um, yeah, I don't recommend those. I'm gonna blame it partially on my fault and partially on the recipe because it is definitely not the texture of Jello. It's more of the texture of like fruit pectin and I don't like that either. I also didn't like the flavor at all and probably was my fault. It has champagne in it. I'm not a big champagne person, to be honest. <laughs> don't know why I tried this to do this video because I don't like champagne, but it's fine. The only saving grace in these, I think, were the sugar and the blueberries because it gave it a different flavor. However, you got the sugar flavor, but I didn't get too close to the blueberries. Also, the blueberry gave it a nice crunch. Same with the sugar. I'm gonna probably just throw these bad boys away. <laughs> because they are not good. I do not recommend you making them. What I do recommend you making is the champagne margarita and the champagne punch. Obviously the jello shots are my last place. So let's try this one more time. It just tastes like a margarita. Not that it's bad, it's good in every way. But if you're looking for something special, that has some New Year's Eve flair. Other than just saying that this has champagne in it, you wouldn't know. You would have no idea. This one, on the other hand, this one still doesn't taste like champagne to me, but it's like got this nice, different, sweet, but not too sweet flavor to it that maybe you could add some more champagne to it and it would cut through all of the flavors. Surprisingly, I think I would have to say that this is my number one. Cheers to the punch. Let me know down in the comments if you go ahead and try out these recipes as well. If you use one for your New Year's Eve party. Also let me know if the Jello shots worked out better for you if you followed the instructions. I still don't have high for them because the flavor was just awful. But I hope you have a great time trying out these recipes as well and that it helped you kind of figure out what you wanted to do for your own party planning. And so if you liked this video or you want to see more videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and I will see you all next time. Bye.